Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Hearts Round 4 Modern Day Mod as Mongolia. Before we begin this episode, we're just gonna do a short, short, very short memory time for King Michael the first of Romania, the last well previously surviving monarch of the Second World War. He died today and I got notified by a tweet, so thank you for that. So I don't know. Play right F to pay respects, play a game Romania depose the Carol the second and his decadent lifestyle and play a game where you take over the world as well King Michael the first and well tweeted to me yeah tweeted to me and show that you pay respect for the last living monarch that well he both opposed uh, the Nazi regime by well participating in a coup against them and he refused to sign a document that the communist regime trying to well un under Soviet Union tried to force him to sign so he was a pretty goddamn badass person so we should respect his memory and so rest in peace Michael the first let's begin the episode so uh, last time as Mongolia we um, well took it easy we took it very easy as well previous stream and previous episode um, at least we have a very very clear result of which nation you want me to invade you want me to invade China 519 versus 177 votes for China aka 74% versus 20 That's not 100% It says Oh well it, It's probably a decimal But you, you don't show that But 74% Versus 25% uh, 696 responses in total That's pretty goddamn good So yeah We are invading China Both Yes And also God freaking have it Oh shite uh, We Let's see 104 days Okay we're safe but yeah, I almost forgot about it. Luckily, so hey many guys, comments so going. Welcome. Shut up, Daniel. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Luckily, someone reminded me. Desert Fox TFV reminded me. Daniel, get the tank leader. Oh God, we would have lost out on ten soft attack. Might not sound very much. Just in case. Actually, I'm I'm even gonna do something like this. I'm just gonna switch you out to whatever. It doesn't really matter. And then you switch back right here to you. Just in case. Oh wait, actually, we have to get that 25% bonus right now. Ooh, even better. But so we have a 25% bonus right now, and we also get the 10% extra soft attack. It did say I was gonna get that. Well, just as I picked it, but just in case, I want to make really, really sure that I actually get that bonus. And uh, let's see. Let's well improve relationship even more right there. So yeah, I almost forgot about that, and that would have been pretty goddamn bad since I've been trying to optimize in every single way to get as good tanks as possible and as much many tanks as possible and I almost forgot to pick a freaking advisor or well I guess research company oh god I would have face palmed so incredibly much I would probably have just reloaded and replayed that episode to be honest oh well you wouldn't have seen it but I would have replayed the entire thing and just begun from that one is like oh oh well, of course I picked that one why wouldn't I have wouldn't have I had or something like that oh that would have been really really bad so um can we do anything more I I'm really in a pickle right now we have done pretty much everything we possibly can do it's really just quite some waiting time but it's four years left so 2012 should be basically the time when we have everything we need. Oh, wait, wait, actually. No, actually, it's motorized. That is doing quite fine right now. Uh, let's see, 13,000. Uh, as soon as you reach 2,000, I'm going to, well, of course, switch you out. But, um, okay, cool. We're soon going to get that. Uh, we're training with every single factory we have. And we have replaced every civilian with more military. Well, as many as we can, at least. Uh, let's see, do we have any efficiency coming up? Oh, yes, we do. Actually, wow. This is really nice. 5% more production efficiency cap and 15% more factor output. That's like... Um, yeah, that's like having extensive extensive conscription or disarmed nation. So additional 15% right there. That's going to be awesome. That's actually really nice. Wow. Is it, let's see. Is Are all of these bonuses that good? Uh, let's see. This is 5, uh, five 10. This is 5, 5. And this is 5. Okay, so I guess you are going to be 520, 520, and let me guess, 525, and 530. Yeah, no, oh, oh actually, this is different, F 1050. 
No, okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, got it. You, you, you just gotta troll me like that, do you? Yeah. Okay, there we go. We're just gonna continue down this path because we want to reach uh, actually this one. Armor experience gains 0.02 every single day. If we want to make any more changes to, uh, well, our well, our divisions or anything similar like that, it's just good to have extra experience. Or we might just want to modify the tanks themselves to become something better. What would I add then? If I had a possibility to add anything more, what would I add to make them as good as possible? No oh, good, I didn't screw up or anything. Ugh. Um, what would I add? Reliability kind of makes sense because we don't want to lose more of them. Engine doesn't make sense in any shape, way or form, so we can just ignore that one, which is feels pretty good. Uh, main gun would be one thing, so we can actually do more damage against them. But it's not that big of a bonus, and we also start to reduce reliability if we do. Like, I'm thinking, if we would add more armor, well, that also reduces reliability. But one right here could actually counteract that completely. How much just do one give? Actually, exactly 8.4, and you reduce it by 8.4. So if we added two right there and two right there, then that would be 15 more piercing, eight more soft attack, eight more armor, and 12 more armor, but eight more hard attack. This would actually be pretty decent. And that's just the amount we have right now, 135. This could actually be something. Sure, we lose 0 0.9 speed, but because of our mechanized, well, we can't travel that fast either way. You are only have a max speed of 14. Oh, God. And now it's actually time to do it. Advanced Generation 3 Main Battle Tank. This is just modern. So, if we added two right there, two right there, two right there. So, yeah, alright. These stats are slightly better, too. So, we have slightly better modifiers right there. I don't see any bad thing about doing this. I, like, I don't lose anything on it. We have to do it. The, like, the only reason we wouldn't want to do this is if we want to upgrade something else or... I don't know. I, I don't know. We need to do this. But is these the changes we want to do? We could do something like this. Actually, if we added just 4 right here on hard attack, that's 20 more soft attack. Like, these, this armor that you have right now is pretty goddamn 130. Well, if we challenge other tanks that are very tank-heavy focused, you could probably pierce this. Let's see, if we added 2 right here, armor would only be increased by 13, so it wouldn't actually matter there. So just adding 2 more right here would actually do a bigger difference. God, 20 more heart attack and 20 more soft... Oh, yeah, we have to do this. We have to do this. So, let's save this. Let's not think any more about it. Uh, let's see, Mark 1, you are decommissioned, but so we, so we only... Well, so we only pick this one, so we don't accidentally pick something else. There we go. Level 1, 1 every single day. So, we're gonna... Well, we're gonna have a penalty there, of course. But it's gonna pay off in the end, I think. Well, not I think. I know it's gonna pay off in the end, but... We're gonna have to wait slightly more. But since we have waited eight years, I guess we can wait a couple more. Because we have one shot at this. If we can't lose a war or delay the war, we need to basically win the war ASAP once we declare it. So we need to do this. And we need to do this correctly right away. No mistakes can be made. Like, it wouldn't surprise me if I have to declare the war then notes that I failed somewhere or forgot about something and I had to reload it and continue but I want to give it a try without I just want to smash my head into it and see if I can do this I would probably not play at speed 5 to be honest I will have to keep 100% control everywhere make sure that no one sneaks by because we have our capital the end if they grab it then we're dead uh, someone actually suggested let's see I think I have um, let's see who actually said it here, uh, Cal's Col Carvalho. Oh god, I'm slaughtering his name completely. But he said, Why not wait until China declares war upon India and also declare war against India and then use awesome military access and try to steal some land from them? That could actually be one thing I want. Well, that is actually one thing I can do. But, oh uh, god, that's. Uh, I sh. I should do it, but I have no clue when China might declare this war, because I'm not playing with historical focus, so, well, weird shit can happen, so I'm, 
I'm aiming, um, like, I'm guessing it won't happen for a very long time, so I'm just hoping that, I don't know, once I declare my war, or just before I declare more, oh god, we could have gone these and get some more experience points, damn it. I knew it was something I forgot, but well, that would have been 210 extra days, which, well, are basically 210 extra tanks, which I don't want to miss out on. Um... I was gonna say something. Yeah, I don't know when or what one might happen. I think China has something that is declared war against me. I think the same thing for Russia. So it's better that I just don't rely on something that might never happen. It's better that I play safe, secure, and then just declare war against China. <laughs> because that's so much safe and secure. Uh, let's see. How are your divisions looking right now? Air defense, you're still crap. Motorized, you're still crap. Artillery. Come on. Crap. Uh, mechanized. Uh, but still crap. Nothing that I can't fight against. Uh, let's see. Artil Why are you leaving artillery? I wanted to double check you. Damn it. Uh, let's see. Free civilian fact. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Free civilian factory. Oh, someone is trading with us. That's why. <laughs> I was super confused there for a second. Like, why? Why, why do I have anything right there? Um, yeah, because someone is trading. Okay, cool. What should we do? What should we do with that one civilian factory? I think we'll just trade for another. Or, we, oh, right. We can't actually trade for that. We can't actually trade for that single one. We could do something risky and actually convert one more of my own civilian factories. But in if they would somehow stop trading with me, then we would be basically out of steel. No, no, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's do instead that you try to build another... I don't know. You, ca you can be begin with the anti-air. I said it was useless last episode because, well, they're just going to nuke me once and then it's done. But uh, so you have something to do. I can't do anything else with you. I need to build with you. So let's just... Well, it's going to take 200 days. So... Well, actually, if we do have, well, the tank days that it actually says right here, then you will actually have time to finish all of these five anti-air guns within the time. It's only going to take 1,422 days right there. Uh, let's see, 2,100 support equipment, time to get removed and added into, well, the main battle tank line. Excellent. Awesome. Cool. Uh, we're missing s very, very little right there. Let's see, 0 0.7 percent lack of resource penalty so we are fine right there uh, let's see you're actually missing a bit more right here now four percent right there so I guess we can just do resource and then steel factories right here that's plus two it's not a lot but it's something I always try to avoid doing this before we have more factories because that means a larger bonus but if we manage to win a war against China or against well actually against China I was gonna say or Russia but no we, are, we have already decided we're going for China then we're gonna be fine with resources. We're gonna be so fine, it's we don't have to think about it. So I think I will just actually go down and grab all of this right now. It's gonna be two steel, it's gonna be two aluminum, it's gonna be two chromium and tungsten. It's gonna be, well, two oil and it's gonna be two rubber. So basically two out of everything. Not super good, but it's not super bad either. It's two extra. We're only producing like 36, 6 and 0 out of the rest. So... Why the hell not? That can be pretty good. And uh, we're actually missing 8 steel now, which is a bit troubling, but... Well, if I looked at the modifier right here, it didn't seem too bad. Yeah, you have minus 4%, you have minus 35%. That's a bit worse, but still pretty fine. If I switch you two around, actually... Come on, if I moved you up. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, if I... There we go. How big a penalty do you have? 10%. So 2.5. Oh, actually, this is much better. Yeah, sure. Produce all your 17 right now every single day. I'm gonna remove you eventually, but don't you worry about that. But just get your 20,000 as quickly as possible so I can remove you. This is just me building a stockpile. And then we're gonna add the additional one right there on the tanks as well. Because basically, there's where we need extra stuff. 2,100 days versus. 1000 days so well if we manage to finish off our mechanized we're just gonna start building up a stockpile there as well like when i go to war i plan to have only main battle tank and mechanized in my production but if that takes far too long then we might switch over some of the production from mechanized into tanks 
we just have to wait and see and what happens. Life is life. La 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 la. La, 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 la. For some reason that song is completely stuck in my head today. I think I heard it like on the radio today or something on my way to like um, I was gonna leave for work we also have the radio on and I heard it and then I've just been muttering that song this entire day. Right we can't pick this one because we need civilian factories more than nine. <laughs> I think we had more than nine but well right now everything is military factories or being used for trade so we can't actually do that one. Whoops. Uh, let's see, what else can we pick then? We don't really have anything. I guess we can always pick... No, no, we're not using air bases. Um, I guess naval focus, maybe? Or maybe we can't even grab that one because we don't have any naval province. We don't have any coastal province, we can't pick that. So I guess army training is the only thing we can go for. Yeah, army training is basically the only thing. Well, we can get 5% more popularity in monarchies, but uh, that doesn't really matter. Um, yeah. 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 This is the only thing. Army training. Army training 1, 2, and 3. Let's go. Okay. Right here. Let's see. What else can pick? Nukes? Well, well we can't we can never use bombers to use them, so it's kind of useless for me. Well, like, we could always be the... Well, Mongolia that... Um, uses nukes on catapults, I guess. Man, then the catapults have to be really god freaking strong if they're gonna launch away a freaking nuke to the enemies, but... Well, I guess nothing is impossible. Actually, what is the smallest nuke ever produced? Like, what's the smallest scale bomb? Like, what's the radius on that one? Because if they used a very, very, very small nuke, super contained, and just threw it on the opponent's wall, could that make a safe explosion that would completely obliterate the wall, but still be safe enough for them to basically be in range of a catapult? That's a big question for you. Maybe I should make that a poll. Would a nuke such as that one exist? Or ha can it? exist does it exist i don't know something like that <laughs> or am i just abusing the poll feature right now youtube i think i would be abusing the poll feature uh 16 000 weapons 3 000 more reinforcements god damn it the thing is i i'm very much thinking is this too much or is it just enough we could always just well go down one step to be honest uh basically we could do this that would be 200. And we would not be done, but that would be a very, very good step on the way. Otherwise, it's 1,800 days left. I don't know. We still have some focus left right here. You're growing slowly a bit more. You'll basically reach 1.9 or something. So, God. Though I think this is the only way. I understand why the guy... Like, this is why I definitely played Banished. Because I knew it was going to be this bad. I actually thought it would be even worse. But, well, you decided that you wanted to see me do this. And you wanted to have me rambling on for several episodes without doing very much. I think we might be able to do stuff next episode. Maybe. And that's a big maybe. Ah. <sighs> None have actually all of their tanks left. And this is even including the bad Russian ones, which I very much wish I could just not include. I would really like to just upgrade all of them. Well, it's only like one, two of them, so it should be fine. Army training level one is done. That's another 70 days. Let's go army training level two. Because we could always just upgrade this one even more. If we can, well, if we want to, but that would just delay the time even more. Come on. 300, oh really, you want to upgrade 300 of them? Well, I guess it could always cancel you and just add you into the tank. Uh, 1.6 days. Can I somehow upgrade it? Can I somehow increase the speed or something? Uh, let's get, actually begin right now with 
just improve relationship with Germany a bit more again. Why not? And let's also improve it with Russia. Why the hell not? So it, maybe it's a bit less likely that it will actually invade me and take me over by random focus. Let's actually do the same thing here with China. Well, we, it doesn't really matter, but we have enough political power for this, so why the hell not? Uh, let's see. Commanders, we have the correct ones. More organization right here. Is that what we want? You have 60... Oh, wait, wait. You. You have 38 organization. Yeah, it would be nice. I want, I want to stay over 40 organization if possible. So, yeah, we have the right choice right there. Uh, this is just rocket. Well, I guess this could almost be counted as catapults. Like the rockets itself. And if I can launch nuke with them, that would be pretty goddamn awesome. So let's let's begin with that. Because that well, that's not airplanes. It's only rockets, which are basically very, 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 very advanced balls of rocks. So maybe I could somehow use nukes in this campaign anyway. If well, if I'm allowed to, of course. I will let you all decide. This is just me potentially researching something that could maybe be useful. Hmm. My, my brain is like basically nothing is happening right now but still it feels like my brain is going on overdrive because it's trying to figure out some way to make this well more favorable to me uh, no 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 tank follow follow that tank I want to see exactly what kind of weapons you have right here come on no there we go uh, that's a that's a light tank so the light marine or actually marine brigade has a tank in them. Okay, let's see if we can find a heavy tank brigade, please. Oh god, you're taking attrition right now. Oh, I don't want that. I don't want that. Stay exactly where you were. I don't care. Go back. Let's see how much attrition did we take. 16? 16? Oh my god. Really? 16 tanks for just a couple... Oh. God, we'll have to fix something. We'll definitely have to do something about that. Hello, <laughs> actually, good. We're doing the ma maintenance company. That was exactly what I was gonna ask about. Um, we need to kind of, let's say, upgrade you and actually use you on every single division. Now, please, uh, let's just get that maintenance. Sure, it would drag out our sport equipment that we're no longer producing, but I don't freaking care. We need it on our divisions now. Thank you, and that's also gonna, well, Oh, actually, is it? No, it's only going to cost us manpower and it's also going to cost us sport equipment. Uh, so we're going to make a quick sh switch right here. We're going to go out to search by equipment. Uh, where's my manpower? Uh, were we really at all adult serve? Maybe we were. Uh, just let all of this, this manpower actually just go back right here and reinforce everything. Because like I said, I don't want anything to be missing right here. When all of these tanks deploy, they should be in the top shape. They should be maximum trained right here. As much trained as possible. And I don't want anything to be lacking. So everyone is just going to get their extra manpower right here. And then we're going to, well, just jump back into this. Because, well, we have enough pulling power to just jump back and forward. It's going to cost me 750 more to go back. But in the meantime, we don't have anything else to spend it on, so it's fine. Maintenance company level 3, thank you. That's going to help. Uh, let's see, 700 days, uh, a bit too much. Uh, let's see, anything else, though? Yeah, sure, 450 days right there. And 450 days right there. Sure, let's pick both of them. And uh, let's see, I think everyone has their manpower right now. Let's see, reinforcements, nothing right there. You are only missing tanks itself. Excellent. Then we're going to jump back all to the Somme engine. So we have seven, 542 police power left. And well, more factor output. Excellent. So we reached 1.96 in tanks. Actually, we can go a bit higher. Oh, we will actually reach over 2 every single day. That's nice. That's very nice. Oh god, sorry. Hit the mic. Uh, so yeah, basically 1,400 days. And the mechanized right here, yeah, 856 days. Come on, Daniel. Figure out another way. Figure out another way to actually make this possible. Or maybe maybe I should just add a bigger face cam right now and just sit 
speed it up in twice the speed and just have me, I don't know, do something, look funny for a time while I really speed up it, speed up waiting now, because I did have some stuff to do before, now it's very, 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 very hard for me to continue talking because we have very little to actually talk about. I think we have looked at every single option we could possibly do and I think we're pretty much as optimal as possible right now. Even within all focuses right here we can't do anything more that will support us. We're not allowed to do any allies so we can't do this. 5% more popularity doesn't really matter. We have done everything right here. Uh, let's see, I guess there is no tank production right here. Armor training doesn't really help. Construct repair, family subsidize, nothing. Absolutely nothing. I think we have done what we can. I wonder how we have eight experience right here, 8.99 even. That seems a bit weird. How in hell do we have 8.99 air and naval experience? I would understand if it's like 5 or something, but 8.99? Volunteer corpse, you give arm experience. Army training, you don't give anything like that either. Why do I have 8.99? No clue, no clue at all. Uh, oh, there. But that is supposed to give me 10. Why did it only give me 8.99? That's that, that's weird. <laughs> Do I have a penalty that maybe pulling power from focuses actually give me reduced effect or something? Maybe. <laughs> Very weird, but alright. Alright. Okay, only 1,900 more right here for the mechanized. 2780 for the tanks. Four more years. Wait, it's four more years now? Oh, right, it was for the mechanism before. So it, we're gonna be down, well, 2015. No, I can't count. 13. Ugh. No, wait, wait, that's actually more than four years. Ah, 2014 might actually be a more valid guess because we're in November right now. All because we wanted to upgrade this to the next level. So 1.99 every single day. Excellent. Uh, signal company level 2 done. Um, I don't think we will use it. But uh, it feels like something we might use. So it's well good enough to actually research right now. Uh, soon 750 again. So if we would have to we can go up well once again to all adult serve. But hopefully we won't need to. And I don't know why I went out to all adult serve. Shouldn't... Oh, actually, so by requirement might have been what we went to and it didn't work. I was thinking for a second that we went up to extend conscription. It didn't work. But I forgot they reorganize later. Okay, there we go. 250 right here. Come on, can we get some cool events or something? Something that, well, increases my stability even more. Because I want that amazing stability. Just give me it. That will. That's like the only thing I can think of that would actually increase my factor output by even more well I guess we could always go to like uh, free trade right here but that would reduce the current um, resources we are now producing which would only reduce it in total so we can't do anything right there either I don't think we can do anything is there anyone I missed right here maybe oh actually this one Really? Air experience gain? Even if it's a focus, it reduces it by 10%. Actually, a bit more than 10%. If it was 10%, it should be 9, not 8.99, but alright. So this is why we got reduced naval and air experience. <laughs> that's that's weird, but alright. I, I guess it works that way. <laughs> Let's see, you might not be the most optimal one for me right here. Hmm. Uh, of course, we're going to switch these ones out to actually you fortification. You are no longer useful for me. If I could pick something else right here, that would be better. I think <sighs> the decryption guy could be something. 
Uh, let's see. Nope. Decryption right there. Let's switch you out. Excellent. And then we see. Do we have anyone else? Agile drift trade deal opinion modifier. Uh, we can switch you out and to the intelligence encryption. Basically, so we have that bonus as well. It should give us a slight advantage in combat if they don't. Well, if they don't have those two. Uh, let's see. Have you filled out all your stuff yet? Yes, you do. Uh, let's see. Do you have that stuff? Nope. Good. Then that should. Be <sighs> Sorry. Sorry. Suddenly got very tired. Um, yeah, so we should have a slight, slight, slight advantage right over there. I think it's, well, another 5% attack or defense. Uh, construction speed, nope. This is just way, way out of time. Not anything we can pick right now. Because we both have fixed everything right there, most likely. Uh, let's see. In encryption, decryption-wise. Um, sure, let's get the engineer company. It's 700 days, sure. But, well, we will have time to actually finish that one before war begins. 1.3 days. And now it's ticking down one by one. Well, I guess we could also... Maybe not one by one, really. It jumped there down by four days or something. Really? So maybe it isn't that many days. Maybe it's like... 1,000 days if we're super lucky. Or was I just completely blind? And it didn't go down by several days? Eight? Seven? Okay, now a six, five, four, three, two, one. I must have been blind or something. It doesn't seem to happen right now in 10 days, so I'm, I'm just thinking even if it was 1.1 we received, then we should have seen it right there. But apparently not. Well, I guess we can always do international lines as in case of, I don't know, we getting a puppet or something. And I, we want to create a faction with that one. Because that should be fine if they are a puppet. But most of the, well, I don't see a reason why we, we why we would make a puppet. Maybe if it's something we accidentally go to war to and Mongolia never owned. Oh, yeah, well, actually, we were supposed to do better than Mongolia. So I guess we should annex them too if we accidentally go to war with someone. So, yeah, maybe, maybe not. Uh, let's see, we could always... It would have been nice, why did I do this? Like, it would have been nice to have just five at a time or something, and not just everyone at a time to slowly, slowly see this massive number go down. It's kind of nice in one way, but also very, very not nice, because you can see how far from, well, everything you are. And uh, nothing right here seems to be... Declare war against Mongolia. Or, oh, well, actually here. That's bad. This is actually really bad. Uh, let's see. Core uh, core interest. Is in Turkestan. Okay, that's fine. Declare war against China is right there. Uh, Taiwan. Vietnam. And here is... Okay, nothing seemed to actually be against Mongolia, so we might be fine. But you also went down peaceful, so uh, that should be f even better for me. Alliance expansion, just a bunch of factories right here. Uh, let's see, South Asian outreach. All minor power. Come on. Damn it, it's not including me. Aid India. Okay, aid Pakistan. Well, nothing really right here either for me. Uh, let's see, maybe... No, no, I'm not included. I am not included right here. Damn it, I was really hoping for something at least. Uh, do you like me or dislike me? Nothing, nothing. Nothing includes Mongolia. Are we just completely out of this entire thing? They just don't give a crap about us. Come on, we are Mongolia. We have tanks. Yeah, we have tanks. We have two divisions of them. Stop ignoring me. Uh, let's see, anything right here we could do. Nope. Uh, well, na more naval doctrines, I guess. Always works. God damn it, China. 
So you're not the claim war against India either. Okay. Maybe you have something right here in Peaceful Rise that is disband half your army and you're never allowed to, well, you know, defend yourself in case of war. You need to do the pacifist way of just, well, the pacifist way of uh, India. Oh, well, that, well, in modern game turns, that means nuke everything, but previous days when they, well, drove up the British doing the peaceful uprising. Hmm. Anything? No. 58% monarchist, so we're safe right there still. Very nice. So basically, oh, it's when you get over 20%, you get a reduction, which means this grows more than you. So no party can reach more than 20%. Okay, I'm fine with that. Uh, let's see, anything else right here? Anything else we can pick? I don't think so. We're done. We are completely freaking down. Uh, so I guess the closest one that could be useful for me is construct engineering. 10% 10 percent. I said 10 or 20. Um 20 percent more construction speed in building these anti-air guns. So yeah, 20 percent speed. Yeah! Uh, 1100 days right there. Uh, for the tanks to finish, we have another 1,100 days right there as well. So you're just precisely going to be finished right now. This is weird. This doesn't like fit with everything. I get. I think it feels like it goes down faster than it should be. Or may may maybe it isn't like that for me. Anyone else? Maybe it's just me seeing wrong or something. But it seems like we might be able to. Okay, if we just double check the last episode, or well, if I double check the last episode. Uh, 2008 and we begun in 2007 I think we've gone a bit more than a year this time it seems like we might be able to do this if I just have the game running the entire next episode we might be done right there or maybe I'm overestimating now slightly uh, let's check when did when was the last save we did uh, 2008 in September so that's only two years then this would be another another episode just waiting if the game doesn't slow down even more actually we have 21,000 equipment right now so let's cancel you so it's not gonna be any upgrading but it's gonna be one more tank right there uh, so let's just keep that up let's see you're gonna produce 2.2 right now 2% 2.5 percent penalty right there and 10 percent right here still okay well, too expected, really. And so you're going to get grow a slightly bit more. So you're going to produce a tiny bit more. And it's going to go a tiny bit faster right there in total. We're probably going to save another 100 days or so by doing that one. So that's pretty good. But anyway, guys, I will have to end this episode right now. So if you have any questions, any concerns, anything that could help me, anything that could be a bad for me, what kind of plans China might do, and whatever, just whatever you really want to know about this, or maybe just some random questions that you want me to answer, I guess I could go through them. Just make this episode a bit of a Q&A episode style thingy. Um, so yeah, if you have anything really, just write a comment down below, and I will just basically look through all the comments next episode during the episode. So um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode anyway, that you will stupid communist like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye and bye